You want to give me a kiss? Good job, Silly. Good job. Hello, I'm the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner, Elusive, Ellie for short. <laughs> and we're here to teach you how to have a happy and healthy rabbit in your home. So today I want to talk about house rabbits or why you should really be keeping a rabbit inside and not outside. Now traditionally rabbits were thought of as more of a hutch animal and were kept in usually wooden hutches outside um, instead of being um, brought inside and kept in an enclosure inside um, your, your home. Now until recent decades, maybe the last 20 to 30 years, this was completely common practice and very few people really thought of rabbits as house pets, like cats or dogs. But as there's been more research done into better rabbit health, rabbit care, it's been becoming more and more common to keep rabbits inside because it actually is much better for them. It gives them a much better chance at a healthy and long life. It used to be the case that people thought a rabbit lifespan was only maybe two to five years, but now we realize that if a rabbit is well cared for, an average rabbit lifespan is actually around 10 years. Uh, it, it varies a little bit depending on the breed, but an indoor rabbit can expect to live somewhere around 10 years. M most of the reason for this is actually because outside has a lot of dangers for rabbits, understandably. Rabbits are prey animals, which means they are attacked by predators, and if they're kept outside, even if they're kept in a secure hutch, they still come in contact, at least like to hear or see, <laughs> at least to hear or see predators that are around. Predators, even um, if you live in a, a neighborhood with like cats and dogs, they can be rabbit predators, but also foxes, raccoons, hawks, any of those can be predators for rabbits and it can stress them out like they, they can actually claw at at cage hutch bars and actually get in there and get the rabbit. That's relatively common for rabbits that are kept outside. But also even if they don't, rabbits get very stressed out by the presence of these other animals because rabbits survive traditionally by being able to run away and hide from all these predators. But if they're kept in a hutch, there's not really anywhere to run and uh, the best they can do is just like cower cower and hide in maybe a little hidey house if they are lucky enough to have that. So it ends up, the stress of it, the anxiety that it causes, even if they don't ever actually get attacked by these other animals, the anxiety that it causes leaves, it does a number on a rabbit's health, understandably, and it means that a rabbit can expect to live a shorter lifespan when they're kept outside simply because of the presence of these other animals that, that stress them out. Now, outdoors also has um, a lot more parasites, and by this I mean bugs. Uh, rabbits can get um, diseases from bugs, um, but and they can also, this is a little bit gross, but they can, flies will like come and lay eggs in the rabbit, like usually around their butt, but it can be anywhere. And then when the eggs hatch, the maggots start to eat the rabbit alive, basically. Um, and that's actually, it's called fly strike, and it's actually very a very dangerous condition for rabbits because they can go into shock and die within like 24 to 48 hours you might not even know that it's a problem um, but this is this is something that happens for rabbits that are kept outside because you know there are flies out there inside is a lot cleaner and it's a lot less likely that that any that any fly is going to attack a rabbit but there's also some diseases can be spread um, in Europe, especially Europe and Australia. There's this disease called myxomatosis. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. I think that's how it's pronounced. It was originally introduced to um, keep the wild rabbit population from continuing to grow because it was becoming um, a little bit too prolific. Uh, but then, of course, it, it ended up becoming more of a problem for domestic rabbits instead. Um, and that's spread by mosquitoes, I believe. Uh, so that's something that you, have to watch, that you have to watch out for. In America, it's not as much of a problem, but there are some instances of, of this disease um, on the West Coast, uh, like in, in California. But it's not, it's not so common since it wasn't introduced to the wild population the way it was in Europe and Australia. 
And of course, rabbits also have to worry about things like fleas and ticks, which can be a little bit of more of a problem for rabbits than for other species because the treatments for fleas aren't always safe for rabbits, so you have to be very careful. And talk to your veterinarian to find what types of flea repellents are actually safe for rabbits. The other thing that rabbits have to worry about outside is the weather. Especially in the summer, the extreme heat can be incredibly dangerous for rabbits and cause heat stroke. Because rabbits have a thick fur coat, they have trouble regulating their body temperature and keeping it down at temperatures above 80 degrees. The actual temperature will vary a little bit depending on the humidity and other factors in the weather, but generally any temperature above 80 degrees you need to start worrying about whether it's too hot for your rabbit because it's quite common for them to get heat stroke in the summer and uh, heat stroke is, is one of those things that's difficult for rabbits to recover from. So definitely you don't want to leave your rabbit outside in the summer. But the winter, while they do have those thick fur coats that can help out in cooler temperatures, that doesn't mean that they can do well in uh, freezing temperatures or temperatures below zero. If you live in a particularly cold climate, that's another reason why the weather can actually be a dangerous, can be dangerous for the rabbit, even in the winter time. And not to mention like snow and ice, if they get their coats wet, they don't dry off very easily. It takes them a very long time. So if they get even a little bit wet, they can end up having hypothermia and go into shock from that. And it's quite dangerous for rabbits and it's difficult for them to recover from. So the weather is another reason why keeping rabbits outside is actually very dangerous and you know, should not happen. If you want, your, if you want a rabbit to live a long, healthy life, free of stress and danger, then you really do want to keep your rabbit inside, not outside. The other reason why it's so important that you keep your rabbit inside is because rabbits are very social animals and they just don't do well if they're left alone all day. Inside, rabbits are able to interact with people and become much more a part of the family. If rabbits are left alone all day and just kind of sitting in a cage they get they get depressed they get lonely and depressed and that's really sad because rabbits can be these really adorable happy social animals so and they can really be a part of your family if you let them be so generally rabbits that are left outside don't get that socialization that they need to be their happy happy selves it ends up a cutting into their lifespan and b it means that you know, you also don't get to learn about all of, all of, the, all of the world of rabbits. Uh, you don't get to learn about all of their body language. That when you spend time with them on a daily basis, uh, you get to learn, you get to learn what it means when they move their ears a specific way. You get to see them binky, uh, binky, do happy jumps all around uh, the living room, and you can sit with them and pet them while you're reading a book or scrolling through the internet. And it's really, it's really a great way to bring a rabbit into your life. In addition, having a rabbit inside in a place where they're, uh, where they're interacting with you and the family on a daily basis, you'll be able to watch for signs of sickness a lot easier. Because you see, rabbits being prey animals, they tend to hide their sickness because, uh, and their ancestors at least, if a rabbit showed that they were sick, a predator would then try to pick them off, seeing, seeing them as the weak link and the easiest, the easiest meal to get. Whereas now that means that it's very difficult for us, our, us caretakers, to tell when a rabbit is sick. But when, they're, but when a rabbit is kept inside and part of the family and we see them on a daily basis, we can start to understand, okay, the rabbit is acting differently today. Why didn't they come to me for a treat? Why didn't they? Why are they just sitting there instead of uh, being as active as they usually are? And we can keep, we can keep, um, keep track of their their behavior and their health, and we'll be more likely to catch signs of sickness in time, so that we can get them to the vet and help them to get better. And as you know, I really do advocate for rabbits being a part of the family, being being like a cat or dog, being a family pet and socializing with people all the time. And you just 
can't really do that with when you're keeping a rabbit outside. They just become a chore. They become just something that you have to remember to think about and might forget about. And that's that's not that's not that's not the life for a happy and healthy bunny. And I think we as a society can do better. We can keep our rabbits with us, keep our rabbits inside and and really care for them and love them and let them love us and it's it can really be a wonderful part of of a new future for bunnies. Um, we don't have to just keep them outside because that's the way it always was. We can we can change the way the society thinks about rabbits and that's that's my goal here. I want you all to to really think about how you can help your rabbit be the best that they can be. It's really rewarding when, when a rabbit can just be happy and bouncing all around and it makes it makes the rabbit happy and it makes it makes us caretakers happy too. <laughs> so I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching. Um, I do have uh, other videos that you can check out and I have a uh, I have a blog that I will link to. I have uh, one specifically about um, keeping rabbits inside that goes into a little bit more detail than I got to in this video. So you can check that out. I will leave a link below and <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I do hope to see you next time. Have a nice day.